Hey there, I think we are live. It's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. I am live in my kitchen, if you hadn't noticed. Um, I am here today, Lauren is here. Oh. We have Lauren back in action, but she's heading to work anytime soon. So we are just getting her right under the wire. The girl has a life now, Lauren. How's your, how's your job going? Horrible. Horrible. I hate it. She hates it. Can you tell she's a millennial? Just kidding. Are you a millennial? No, I'm Gen no. Z. She thinks she's Gen Z. I she's know. like, she's on the cusp. Anyway. No, I'm not. She's, do you hear that? No, I'm not. Anyway. Uh, born in 1999. What do you think? Millennial or on the cusp? Anyway. It's me. I am here. I am very excited about today's recipe because, you know, I've been making so many things in mugs for you guys, like live on Facebook for many months now. Um, but the one thing that I have not made for you is my classic, like my original mug recipe, which is Hungry Girl Egg Mugs. So, like, if you're out there, please applaud. Let me know that you are excited about seeing an egg in a mug. I'm going to tell you a little bit and give you a little bit of history about um, how I created egg mugs. And while I do that, you should talk to me because commenting, liking, and sharing this video is going to afford you the opportunity to win this lovely art that I have made. Hey, Mary. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Dana. Look at this. It says she's got eggs and she knows how to nuke them. Come on. That's funny. Clever. <laughs> she's grabbing. And the back says, do the right thing. And I have signed it. Um, Dana, you weren't expecting this, were you? Anyway, so if you want to win this, you can also, of course, because it's a mug recipe, you can win this Hungry Girl mug, which is sought after and beautiful, and you cannot purchase it, but you can win that. You could actually make your egg mugs in there. And you could also win a set of Hungry Girl measuring spoons. So all of those things. I have some trivia questions that I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you to interact. I'm gonna ask you to talk about, send the daily emails and whether or not you get them. If you don't, you should sign up for them. Go to hungry-girl.com. Of course, I am dressed like an egg mug. I'm wearing like, scrambled egg color, do you get it? And a retro, a retro NKOTB hat to go along with my retro recipe for eggs in a mug. So I have been making these. There's a screaming dog in the background. Can you hear the crying dog? Why is she crying? She must love egg mugs. So the deal is I've been making um, eggs in a mug since probably I would say 2010. For the, the diehard Hungry Girl fans out there, you know I've been sending emails since 2004. Um, I have been making egg mugs, I think, since 2010. Jamie might know better. I was trying to figure out the exact timing of it. And the reason why I started to make them was because I was lazy, people were lazy. I've always been pretty lazy in the kitchen. I want everything to be fast and easy. And I was like, I don't really want to break out the skillet and clean the skillet. Can't I just make a hot breakfast in an easier, faster way? And the truth is, you can make eggs in a mug whether you don't have a lot of space, whether you're in a dorm room, wherever you are, you can make eggs in a mug and they are so delicious and fast and easy. And there are probably, I don't know how many dozen variations of recipes that I personally have created with my team, but you can be creative at home. So today the idea is just to give you conceptually some ideas on how to make eggs in a mug and then you can take it and run with it. So what do you think of that? And what, hey Mike, good to see you. So Jamie says even earlier, I don't know, I was trying to figure it out because it wasn't in the first two books. So the egg mugs are not in the first two Hungry Girl books. So I don't know, maybe I've been doing them for a thousand years. Anyway, I'm gonna make one today. This is based on the egg mug classic. I'm also going to give you some egg trivia and have some questions for you to answer in order for you to be eligible to win prizes. You do not have to get the questions right as usual. So. How many eggs do you think the average American eats per year? Average American eats per year. How many eggs? What do you think? Anyway, guess that while I start to make the eggs in a mug and you just watch. What are you doing? Are you up early? Are you out and about? What are you up to? Anyway, I'm not doing anything today. This is it, the highlight of my day. So the first thing we do is we take, I like you know the wide bottom mugs, but you could actually make it in this mug as well if you happen to win this, or if you have a mug that looks like this at home, it's fine. But this mug, I think a lot of people think this mug is bigger than it is. This mug, even though it's a wide bottom mug, it's only a 16 ounce mug. 
It's a size that's not common in a wide bottom mug, I'm gonna say, but it's to me the perfect size. This is my Dateline mug. You're gonna spray that with a little Pam, or non, the nonstick spray of your choice. Who likes Pam? I do. Um, and next we are going to add three quarters of a cup of eggs, egg beaters or egg whites, any of your egg substitute of choice. Could you use a regular egg? Sure. Sometimes I eat regular eggs, but when I'm gonna scramble an egg or make an egg mug, I tend to just go for the whites so I can save some fat and calories. That doesn't mean I don't love whole eggs, I do. But when I eat whole eggs, I tend to eat them over medium and I tend to enjoy the yolk, I like a runny yolk. So if I'm gonna scramble, I use the egg beaters. So we put three quarters of a cup into our Dateline mug, don't watch alone. 1,200 eggs, no, it's, uh, it's not that many. 1,200 eggs, that would be like, that would be many eggs a day. Do you eat 1,200 eggs a year? You might, hey, I'm not judging. 300, 104. So there's some good guesses. Uh, well, okay, the average American eats, so they say 279 eggs a year. That's a very specific number, but 279 seems to be the number that people are saying that we eat. Okay, so today in our egg mug, the classic features laughing cow. Now, I wanna really stress, there is no wrong way to make an egg mug. Even if you forget the spray, it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna stick really. You just might have to soak your mug a little bit longer, but I sprayed it, I was playing it safe. You could put your, your add-ins in before you cook the egg. Today, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna throw my egg in my Hello Kitty microwave. You can see the pink door. For a minute and a half, Lauren's gonna be responsible for the timer, and then I'm gonna add my add-ins after that. So it's going into the Hello Kitty microwave. Set, set the timer for a minute and a half. Wow. My microwave is really, I hope, I am afraid that one day, right in the middle of a Facebook Live, it's gonna stop working. I got this thing in 1999 at the mall for like $35. It's not my main microwave, but it's the one I use here because I think it's good luck and it's pink and it's cute. I could show you, hold on. I'm gonna show you what it looks like as it cooks the eggs. Hold the phone. There it is. That is the Hello Kitty microwave cooking the eggs. Click hearts if you think it looks cool. Um, if you've eaten an egg mug, and you know what they are, tell people out there who may not have eaten an egg mug why they're so good and why they're so easy. And by the way, you can make the healthiest. Today, my little scramble is only gonna have 155 calories. The classic has 125 calories. All it is is an egg, um, three quarters of a cup of egg in a mug with a wedge of laughing cow. Today, I'm adding a little bit of bacon, and I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm getting, I'm prepping my wedge. Laughing cow cheese wedges really, like the greatest things of all time. If you've never had one of these, I highly recommend you buy them. It's the Laughing Cow Light. They have 30 calories a wedge. You can find them at any supermarket near. I'm trying to read what people are saying. I have an egg every morning. So the microwave is the same age as me. The micro, oh wow, that's cray. My microwave is the same age as people in the audience. So that's impressive. All right, there's the timer. Okay, so. The eggs have started to set. Now is a good time to do a little stir and throw the wedge in. Sometimes you can break up the wedge if you want. You don't have to break up the wedge. It gets your hand all full of cheese. You don't need to do that. So I am gonna uh, opt not to break up the wedge, but I am going to opt to also add in a tablespoon of these real pre-cooked bacon bits by Oscar Mayer. 30 calories a tablespoon. And they add a lot of flavor. I love these things. This is such a good thing to keep in your fridge and they stay fresh for a while and they're very yummy. Okay, before I put this in for the next minute or minute and a half, I'm gonna ask you the next question, which is how many eggs does the average hen lay a year? Your busy little hen laying eggs, how many eggs a year? Now I'm gonna throw this in for about another minute or a minute and a half. And again, you wanna just check your microwave. Just keep an eye on it. You gotta give things a little bit of a stir every once in a while. No, you don't, if, you're, if your mug is big enough, you don't have to cover it. If you feel like you're using a lot of eggs and they're puffing really high up, I would say you could cover it, but 
I never cover my eggs in a mug because my mug is perfectly sized. This is looking so good, guys. Is anyone guessing how many, uh, you love the measuring spoons? Thank you, you could win these today just by commenting. The more comments, the more likely you are to win this. Keep telling me you want these spoons or you want this artwork that I made yesterday. Or what else am I giving away? Spoons, artwork, and this Hungry Girl mug. Woohoo! All right, and then also tell me what you're doing on this fine Sunday, because I'm doing absolutely nothing. All right, so I'm gonna give this a little bit of stir. These are almost, these are setting beautifully. And by the way, the portion is large. Now my Hello Kitty microwave's a little slow, so it's probably gonna take, I would say, a good extra minute in there. But, you know, depending on what kind of microwave you have and how powerful it is, yours might work more quickly. So any questions? What you got out there, people? I love the egg mugs, love the spoons, thank you so much. Yeah, like a lot of the Hungry Girl cookbooks actually have full chapters, like with tons of egg mug recipes, like this like, I don't know, just egg mug recipe after egg mug recipe. So if you are in need of egg mug recipes, you can look on the Hungry Girl website at hungry-girl.com. We're gonna show you how to get this. This recipe is gonna be posted with all the recipes from Facebook Live. Um, and that will be at Facebook, I mean at hungry-girl.com slash live. And that's a great resource. If you like watching these videos and you wanna find all the recipes. Okay, look how they puffed up. This is crazy. Now, the cheese has melted. A lot of people say they have a hard time melting laughing cow. I feel like after like a, a minute or a minute and a half in the microwave, it is so melted and delicious and the texture is perfect. If you, by the way, don't have Laughing Cow or you are strictly eating all natural foods, you can substitute this for like a tablespoon of cream cheese. So if you prefer cream cheese, I like cream cheese too, but Laughing Cow to me is the bomb and it's my favorite. So this egg mug situation right here has about 155 calories because I added this bacon to it. But you can, again, whatever you have at home, vegetables, fresh or frozen. If you're gonna add frozen vegetables, I, I heat them in the microwave first and then block them dry so they're not, they don't add water to your egg. You could add everything, bagel seasoning to your egg mug. You could ask, add all kinds of spices, whatever, wherever. Do I owe you an answer on how many eggs per year the average hen lays? Okay. I have heard anywhere from 260 to 280 plus eggs per year. So I guess it depends on how active and busy and engaged your hen is, but it's definitely at least 260 for the average hen. That's a lot of eggs. It is. It's an egg a day. It's an, it's an egg a day. Lauren's like, leave me alone. I'm vegan. I don't eat eggs. Um, anyway, this, um, is, this is the egg muck, yes. Laughing Cow comes in different flavors. I don't know what flavors they have. I think there's a garlic and herb. There used to be a whole bunch of different flavors. Even the egg beaters come in different flavors. But I don't know what's left in the line of Laughing Cow cheese, but I, I tend to stick with the classic. I'm gonna try this now. I'm, I'm gonna eat this for breakfast, so if you're here. Mmm, it's hot. Would shredded cheese work? Shredded cheese works. You could use shredded cheddar. I have a lot of recipes. I find that when I'm in the kitchen testing Hungry Girl recipes, and I try different cheeses, I always say a wedge of Laughing Cow is gonna make it more creamy. A wedge of Laughing Cow is gonna make it more present, the cheese. So for the amount of cheese that you need to use to make a difference with shredded cheese, usually you need a little more. That being said, I still use it in recipes and I love it. But this is a very high protein breakfast. Hold on, how much protein? In the classic egg mug, there's 20 grams of protein. This has a little more because I've got bacon in it. And again, this bacon product is a good product. You know who loves bacon? Bam Bam. <laughs> All right, guys, what else? Do I have anything else? Oh yeah, I have another trivia question. The world's largest omelet. Do you know where it was made and how large it actually was? Like how many pounds the world's largest omelet was? It's probably not your kitchen, probably not. By the way, this is like the equivalent of three eggs because it's three quarters of a cup and every quarter cup of egg beaters is the same as one egg. Um, while you answer that question, I'm gonna recap what's in this mug. It's three quarters of a cup of egg beaters. 
in a mug that I have sprayed with Pam. I uh, cooked it for about a minute and a half, then I added a wedge of Laughing Cow and a tablespoon of this bacon. Went and cooked it again. If you want to even make takes it, bleh. if you want to even make it taste better, you could add a little truffle salt, which is what I like to do. I like to add truffle salt to everything, don't I? Yes. <laughs> I tried to put truffle salt on Lauren the other day. She ran away. All right. Okay. The uh, the largest omelet in the world. Any guesses on where it was made? No. Uh... It was made in Portugal the land of the large omelet, Portugal. And that was in 2012, and it weighed, I don't even know how you can make an omelet this size, it weighed over 14,255 pounds. That is a lot of points. I wish I could figure out the points on Weight Watchers. Speaking of points, wait a minute. How many points do we have for this? This is two points on the green plan for the classic. On the blue and purple plan, one point. I don't know what it is with the bacon, you'll have to figure that out, but basically that is that. So, if you like the idea for the egg mug, it is one of the concepts that I am most proud of. I know that it's a very Hungry Girl concept. There are many Hungry Girl concepts, growing oatmeal bowls, oat bakes, egg mugs, what, coating your whatever, your onion rings with cereal, all of those things are Hungry Girl concepts. This is one of the best. If you like this concept and want to share it, please do. Share this video. That will also make you eligible to win prizes. We love when you share the videos. You guys have been sharing a lot. So what could be better on a Sunday than to share this video with your friends? All right. Well, I think that's it. Now that you know about the 14,255 pound omelet and you know that you have a chance to win this and this and this, and you know how to make a hot breakfast in a couple of minutes in like a two foot, a two square foot radius in your kitchen, we are good to go. Happy Sunday, I love you guys. I'll be back this week with some fun recipes and I've got a great partner video on Wednesday for Fab Fit Fun. I don't know if you know what Fab Fit Fun is, but if you don't know, you can find out. It's an amazing subscription service, so I'll be back talking about them. And I'll be back making more drinks because I have created, I've whipped up like some incredible stuff. So I will be back soon. But now I'm going to go eat my breakfast. You have a great Sunday. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.